make way for the character that inspired DC's Catwoman. Hey guys, Shannon here with Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single History and Origins video. Debuting on April 6, 1941 as a Sunday comic strip distributed by Bell Syndication and created by Tarpe Mills. Originally named the Black Fury, Mariah Drake was a wealthy socialite. Miss Fury had no innate superpowers, but gained increased strength and speed when she donned a special skin-tight cat suit when fighting crime. Another Black Fury premiered in Fox Features Syndicate's Fantastic Comics number 17, also in April of 1941. This version was created by artists Dennis Neville and Mark Howell. Black Fury was the alter ego of John Perry, a gossip columnist for the Daily Clarion. Perry used his newspaper connections to uncover information on crime and corruption, which he would then fight in his costume form. He had no superpowers and was assisted by Chuck Marley, the son of a slain policeman. The Fox Black Fury character appeared in eight issues of Fantastic Comics. It was because of this new Black Fury that the original's name was officially changed to Miss Fury. A third Black Fury appeared in Super Magic Comics No. 1 in May of 1941, published by Street and Smith Publications. There were no writers or artists credited. This version of the Black Fury was the secret identity of Rex King, a costume adventurer who could glide through the air using the wing-like underarm flaps of his costume and defend the jungles of Africa with the help of his pet Black Panther, Kato. A fourth Black Fury was created by Matt Baker and debuted in Fox Feature Syndicate's Zoot No. 9 in October of 1947. This was a female criminal who used trained Black Panthers to battle the jungle goddess Rula. A fifth Black Fury debuted in Charlton Comics Black Fury No. 1 in May of 1955. This character was a horse that roamed the West righting wrongs, bearing some resemblance to the 1955-1960 NBC Saturday morning TV series Fury. Tarpe Mills' Miss Fury was revived in a four-issue miniseries published in 1991 by Adventure Comics, an imprint of Malibu Comics. In that series, the new Miss Fury was Marlene Hale, the granddaughter of the original. Marlene's aunt, Stephanie, also becomes a costume adventurer called the Black Fury. A battle between the two ends when both fall into a vat of chemicals. This version of Miss Fury would return in Malibu Comics' Protector series in issues 10 through 12. Black Fury, who no longer remembers her own name due to the earlier accident, had kidnapped the grandson of President Brian O'Brien. O'Brien was formerly the clock. Miss Fury helps the protectors rescue the boy, but Black Fury slips away. Miss Fury would continue to appear in the pages of the protectors until the series ended with issue number 20 in 1994. The original Miss Fury also saw a brief cameo reappearance in 2008 when Marvel Comics published the first issue of the series, The Twelve. She was depicted as part of an army of 1940s costume heroes storming Berlin, Nazi Germany during the final days of World War II. In November 2012, the Golden Age Miss Fury appeared in the Dynamite Entertainment comic, Masks where she joined with other comic and pulp magazine heroes, including Zorro, The Shadow, and The Green Hornet to combat the villainous Party of Justice. Dynamite Comics' Masks is set in 1938, when the Justice Party had been elected supreme power of New York State. It soon conspires the newly elected officials are controlled by powerful criminals who quickly corrupt the law to their own advantage. A fascist police state is instituted, and ordinary citizens are brutalized, oppressed, and crushed into submission. The only ones who stand up to protect the innocent are masked vigilantes like the Shadow, the Green Hornet, the Spider, and Miss Fury. Dynamite also published a Miss Fury series in 2013, set in 1943. Marla Drake is the daughter of a rich aristocrat and was sent to spend some time in the jungles of Kenya. After the natives grant her superhuman powers through a magic potion and ritual, she returns to America and dons a disguise that is her Miss Fury outfit and performs robberies to create her own fun and save her from boredom. She is seen taking out mobsters that are secret Nazi agents, able to control time to a degree and are trying to attack the U.S. from within. Marla then heads off to attempt the robbery of a crown, but is sucked into a portal that sends her into the future year of 2013, where the United States is now being attacked by the Nazis. She eventually makes her way back to her own time. In this series, her powers include superhuman strength, 
reflexes, agility, and durability. She's adept in hand-to-hand -hand combat and demonstrates proficient use in firearms and uncanny accuracy. Miss Fury eventually fell into the public domain. A few noteworthy facts include she was the first female superhero created and drawn by a female cartoonist. Christian groups attacked the strip during its original run, and servicemen painted her on their planes. If you'd like to learn more about Miss Fury and the Black Fury, pick up Dynamite Comics Masks, Masks 2, and the Miss Fury comics, also by Dynamite. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.